Hey, happy July, everybody. Um, this is Jeff, just gonna give you a little update on capturing kids' hearts, um, kind of our next steps moving forward. Um, I'm always of the belief that uh, we're constantly changing. Uh, we never just get to stay the same. It's really cool that we got to be a showcase school, um, but that's kind of a one and done, and we're far from being over. Um, I wanted to share, I made a purchase right at the end of the school year, a, a purchase of $3,000. It's called Capturing Kids Hearts Premium. And it's just a way for us to sustain uh, what we already have in place. And, and I guess that's kind of um, a minimalist way of looking at it to just sustain. I never want to just kind of stay the same. I really do truly believe in ongoing um, um, improvement. Um, I don't ever believe there's such thing as staying the same. You're either going this way or you're going this way fast. So I'm sending this email out, this video out, um, to kind of just plant a seed to kind of let you know what to expect a little bit as you start, start thinking about coming back for the fall. Um, one of the things that we'll be launching this year, um, after waiting a year and a half to do this, thank you pandemic, is a program called Lead Worthy. Lead Worthy is a Capturing Kids Hearts, a flipping group product um, that I've seen used at uh, Nightdale High School down in North Carolina. It's being used all across the country. That's just the one I got to see where part of the curriculum was being taught. Uh, it was in a ninth grade advisory and it was done by a teacher who just had had fantastic relationships already built with her students. Uh, we were there in December, so she'd already had that time with the kids, um, but it was really cool. It was very, um, it was really life-like. Um, it was life lessons. She was teaching kids about the aspect of ingratiation and about how some people basically, just to put it bluntly, will, will, will be kissing up to you basically and kind of telling you how great you are. And basically, because they're trying to maneuver you and get you in a place so that you will do the things they want you to do. And, and these are very streetwise kids um, she was teaching to, but um, it was really great the way she put it. And that was one of the lead worthy lessons she kind of did some extensions on. Um, recently, as part of our uh, CKH premium, um, they're doing some updating of their curriculum. Um, like I know a lot of the social emotional uh, companies are doing right now. Um, and then also just a quick commercial, I'm really leaning hard on capturing kids hearts. They've been around a long time, you guys. They've been doing this for almost 30 years. I think they hit their 30 year anniversary this year. And there's a lot of startups out there that probably are doing a really great job too. I tend to go with who's proven um so that's just me call me old school but i kind of go with who's has the most evidence basing um what they have um in terms of what they can offer so here's here's kind of nine character traits that they've lined out and lead worthy one is empathy you know we live in a society right now where we can be um empathetic or we can be narcissistic and you know we kind of know where, where we hope that our kids are going to be, they're gonna be empathetic. They're gonna learn how to work together. And a lot of that is learning about how other people are taking things. The other one, responsibility. There's courage, there's being self-directed, there's respect, there's perseverance, there's teamwork, there's kindness, and there's integrity. And when you think of our four letters of together, of respect, of organization, being organized, and this is about you and you belong here, our, the word we use is Troy, these all fit really well in here, these nine things. So I know we're gonna be kicking up the lessons, I wanna say in October for our ninth graders, um, but I also see some really great stepping stones here to help with our other classes also. What happens a lot in high schools is you have all this buildup for our ninth grade classes that they get just a ton of support. And then we do a ton of support as we're starting to push kids towards graduation. And then that 10th, 11th grade year, you know, there isn't as much um, intentional structures put in place. It doesn't mean we don't have some of that going on or teachers working really hard on the best interests of kids, but we need more stepping stones, okay? We need some stepping stones between ninth grade and 11th grade um, at the end of that 11th grade year. So I really see this as something that could really kind of cement that. Um, so these are the lead word of the character lessons. They are leadership lessons. The other thing we get with Capturing Kids Hearts Premium is we get more Lynn Bray. We get uh, Coach Bray to come help us out. And she's in love with our school, as you guys know that. And then also another piece I wanted to share out is um, our PBIS team being led by Jackie and Michelle. They really did a great job this year. Um, not just 
sustaining it or keeping it afloat. I saw some drastic improvements made um, in the way of recognizing staff members and also recognizing kids. And now we got to start getting more into the science of PBIS. Um, and I know that might kind of sound boring to some people because now we start thinking about data collecting, things like that. But I want us to be really good with this stuff. I want us to be so good that, that you know, <laughs> we're having to tell kids, no, we don't have enough room in this building to bring more kids into the school. Um, we, we're not at capacity right now, but I'm noticing that we're getting more kids from within our district picking Auburn High School, which is pretty darn cool. I don't think we could have said that a half a dozen years ago, but we're making some moves here. And the word about Auburn High School is getting more out on the street. We're having a, a much healthy narrative about our school and we deserve that, darn it. Um, so anyway, just wanted to plant some seeds, capturing kids hearts premium, CKH premium, and then the lead worthy lessons. And then um, it's gonna be Kelly Jensen that's gonna be teaming with our Troy crew team uh, which is going to be led again by Jason Caps. Uh, that's going to be the support we give our ninth graders with our 10th and 11th grade or 11th and 12th grade uh, Troy Crew advisors, leaders, mentors. Um, and then we're going to take a group of those kids and we're going to be pumping in some of the lead worthy lessons into Troy time. And that's going to be where Kelly comes in. So we're going to have some really cool things going on here. But again, these lead worthy lessons, they don't have to only be contained to ninth grade. There's, they could also be some really great stepping stones uh, for 10th and 11th graders that we could do in Troy time, whether we do it once a week, once a month, whatever. We'll stick our toe in the water. We'll, we'll, we'll do some sampling of it, and then we'll talk about it as a staff, and we'll see what it might really be doing for our kids. But I know what gets talked about kind of gets done. So when we start talking about our kids with things like empathy, we're going to see more empathy around the building. When we see things about self-responsibility and, and being courageous and and we know the hardest people to stand up to sometimes are our peers and our friends, but the more we can get people to do that on their own behalf and trying to do the right things, the better school we're gonna have. So anyway, um, that's enough for now. Just wanna let you know what I'm up to on Friday, July 16th. Okay, hope you're having a great summer. Mine's going too fast.